What you see here is my 17-year-old dining table. And I think it might be time for a little facelift. on this channel let me introduce myself my name is Winnie welcome to the channel and for those of you who are returning thank you so much and welcome once again from the title you must be wondering what is a pretend farmhouse table well this week I attempted to DIY a farmhouse style table but not really a table because I didn't make the legs I just made a tabletop so I have this old IKEA dining table which I still like very much because of its functionality. It can be extended from a 4-seater to an 8 or a 10-seater. Also, it still looks alright even though it's 17 years old and it's still really sturdy. So I don't intend to change anything about it. I want to keep it as is. But I also want a new look for my dining area. So how do we marry the two? Maintain the old table as is but also have a new look. My plan is to DIY a new farmhouse style tabletop that can sit snugly on my old table. Now to see if I can put my plans into reality. But before that, we have to go and get some wood. This is my friend Imran. He sells reconditioned pine wood at a very affordable price. He will also cut your wood to size if you visit him in his factory. Otherwise, you can always find him online. I will link his shop in the description box below. After lugging the five pieces of eight inch white plank back, I set them on the table to get the best combination. Now because the planks are reconditioned, they don't really have very straight edges and they don't align properly against each other. I have to saw and plane the planks to hopefully straighten them out. So after planing, there still are some gaps, especially with this, this part here and that part there. Uh, but it's much better, the gaps are much closer together. Before I planed it, it was like that. <laughs> so now it's closer together. As you can see, there's still a bowl here. So I have to think of something to do there. Yes. Yay! Is it working? It's working! Okay, let me explain what I just did there. I screwed three pieces of wood under the five pieces of plank. Number one, to stick them together. And number two, so that I can force any cupped areas to straighten out. You might also have noticed I did not put glue between the planks. I did that intentionally because if I were to put glue, I will need those huge F clamps to clamp the five pieces of wood together and I don't have those clamps. I don't have many tools. I'm doing this with very, very limited tools. So I thought it would be a waste of time putting glue anyway. Also, I quite like the idea that I can actually take apart the table anytime I want by just unscrewing a few screws. So I realized I had another problem when I flipped the tabletop over. The center plank is slightly thinner than the rest of the planks. Now what you're about to see is how I fix that problem with a few slivers of wood.
part would seem a little weird, I know. Because I'm cutting up an old kitchen spoon, I cut up two of these. Watch on and you will know what I'll be doing with them. Here, I'm actually contemplating life. <laughs> because I have more wonky wood. I decided to screw it on anyway and then try to plane off the parts that are sticking up. This is probably not the right way to do it, but it's the easiest way for me to do it. Oh my gosh! So, after I know that this is going to work, I prep the rest of the side pieces. First, I drilled pilot holes and then countersunk them. Yup, I did use the screw bit to do the countersinking because I don't have countersink bits. <laughs> And then, just like the first one, I simply screwed the side pieces on and then plane off the excess. Okay guys, don't laugh because I had no other places to sand the tabletop. I had to do it in the house. This is the only way I can think of to contain the dust. I used very diluted stain and did two coats of that. The colour turned out perfect. After staining, I also sanded down the edges of the tabletop just to make the tabletop feel that it's been used for some years. I do like the rustic look. Finally, I applied two layers of mineral oil. This little guy here must be the hero of the show. I basically use it to plane the whole tabletop. Any place where I see that it's not level, I just plane it down as much as I can. It's not perfect, but I'm quite happy with it. Anyway, we've approached the end of the video, but don't go away because there's still the review. If you have enjoyed the video so far, do give me a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It will help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!